Hello everybody, my name is Biffa and I'm working in collaboration with Paradox Interactive to bring you the top 10 mods and assets of the month. You may know me from YouTube where I build cities and I fix traffic as well. And with that being said, let's dive in and see who is at number 10 this month. At number 10, we have the Transit Vehicle Spawn Delay mod by Algonon. Setting up a new long bus route with 50 buses no longer has to lead to an initial conga line of vehicles heading out from your depot nose to tail. This mod will smoothly spread out your buses, trolley buses and trams, also including a configurable delay. At number 9 we have the Japanese Suburban House by NOB 5050 6000. This collection contains a selection of detached houses of various sizes, colours and design. Whether you're designing a Japanese suburb or looking for a distinctive look for your residential zones, you can't go too far wrong with these lovely properties. At number 8 we have the Pan Pacific Auditorium by Room Mike. Convention hosting in your city will never be the same again with this auditorium along with its Art Deco facade. Modelled on the Pan Pacific Auditorium Convention Center built in 1935 in Los Angeles, California, this level 5 unique building even has interchangeable flags if you make use of the BOB mod. At number 7 we have Lighthouse Volgograd Russia by Peter Barr. This beautifully designed lighthouse sits on an island in Volgograd, Russia. Its neoclassical style will really stand out as it keeps your sailors safe on the high seas. Its namesake was completed in the early 50s and your lighthouse will certainly alert your sailors to danger and become an interesting place to visit for your tourists. And at number 6 we have Shadow Castle by Vicio Cristo. Shadow Castle can be found on the south side of the Ahr near Lake Thun in the city of Thun, Switzerland. It's a gothic revival style that has been turning heads since the mid 1800s and now belongs to the city of Thun, containing a restaurant and the Swiss Gastronomy Museum. Be sure to read the description very carefully to ensure smooth placement of this asset in your city. At number 5 we have the Hohenzollern Bridge by Revo. Now this bridge can be found crossing the Rhine in Cologne, Germany and is the most used railway bridge in the whole of Germany with more than 1200 trains crossing it every day. This is a part of the Railway 2 collection that we featured back in September and does require some mods and skill to place and adjust to your needs. With basic, elevated and bridge elevations along with guardrail, abutments, concrete sleepers and more, this fantastic bridge can certainly add that little extra something to your rail networks. At number 4 we have a DDR Industrial Warehouses by Meister Monis. These Rico only assets include a selection of 11 purpose built warehouses in an East German industrial design, each with varying heights and facade designs and ranging from 6x3 up to 72 by 24 meters in size. Using the loading screen mod and the ploppable Rico mod are highly recommended to get the best from these items. So now let's take a look who has made it to our top 3 this month. At number 3 we have French Colonial Palace by Travis Jacob. Built in 1886 to 1890 this French Colonial Palace has Gothic, Renaissance and French Colonial architectural influences. This unique building which is based on the Amsterdam Palace needs to be unlocked by having 600 service buildings. With its striking clock and amazing glass windows, it will surely turn a few heads in your city centres. At number 2 we have the Armageddon Pack by Monster Kill. The Armageddon Pack is a collection of rundown, half destroyed buildings that would not look out of place on the set of the latest post end of the world scenario film. With ruined offices, a destroyed petrol station, European style houses in various states of abandonment and much more. This collection could help you to enjoy that derelict inspired vibe in your cities. Well done Monster Kill for being at this month's number 2, who is at number 1? Let's find out. And at number 1 is Ferris Wheel Spree Park Berlin by Sven Berlin. We all know that our citizens love to go out, they love to have fun and they really enjoy a park ride or two. 
So how about building this super Ferris wheel to entertain the masses? Taking its inspiration from the Ferris wheels at Spree Park Berlin and Cedar Point Ohio, it looks absolutely stunning at night. With moving lights, individual moving carousels and of course, the large spinning wheel, this landmark can be the centerpiece of any park and look stunning. Well done Sven Berlin for being our number one choice this month. What did you think of our choice this month? As always, let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear. And be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on all the amazing City Skyline content we have coming your way. Thank you for watching. I've been Biffa. You've been fantastic. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.